Okay, so we are actually in 25 and a half. We had a little technical, not even technical blip, just a blip there because... Yeah, it's been a while since I forgot to hit the record button. It's because I'm doing it on the laptop as well now. Like, I haven't done that in ages, so... But you're not normally in that chair as well at the same no, time. No, true. It's been like so, about a year, isn't it? So, Like, you normally tell me, right, that's us recording because you've hit that button as well. But tonight you're on camera and on mic as well. So, yeah, I was just kind of saying, episode 25 and a half, this is just a wee bonus episode because it's a football journal's birthday. Um, been going for a year. It was also your own birthday yesterday. Happy yeah. birthday, even Thank though I said you. that in the original four-minute <laughs> recording. Um, yeah, kind of coincides with my own birthday, which is which is kind of cool. Um, there is a, lo- a new logo coming for the podcast soon. I won't say it's going to be ready this week because it's not. Okay. I can't overpromise things. Um but by the time our episode with Pelly Patterson comes out, I'm hoping. I'm hoping. I can't say for sure, but I'm hoping it'll be ready. But it'll be it's it's in the works. Um our original logo's done as well, but it's there's only so much that a twenty minute effort on Canva is gonna get you. Especially when you start seeing it popping up in different places. Did you do it on Canva, did you? It was kind no, of I swear. I on the phone. Yeah. Mm. That's what I used to make the food. Well, everything that I do, you know, the stuff that I do. <laughs> it's, it's quite handy. As long as you get to know it, like it's a little bits here and there. But um yeah, so before before we realised we weren't actually recording, we we're just I was just naming through everyone. So in order that's been on the podcast, we've had Luke Sharkey, Ryan Hutchin, Dominic Barstow, Andrew Bell, Ian Parfit. Jonathan Padgett, Alan Main, Frazy Kelly, Stuart Black, Jamie Acas, Craig Christie, Callum McKenzie, Devin Hay, Russell Mackay, Stephen Laird, Robbie Wild Goose, well, they were together, Ian MacArthur, Martin Stewart, Chris Saunderson, Coach Gomez, Murray Mental Health Football Club, John Teasdale, Mo Morrison, Marcus Goodall, Sai at the Football Hub, Neil White, and Pelly coming in next so sounds I, like the match day squad for FC Bishop <laughs> I wish mate I wish <laughs> I can't get a goalkeeper just now for Bishop Mill so any of them guys are welcome down um, it's been good like when when you look at like where that list starts off to where that list ends it's quite a difference isn't it mm-hmm. yeah definitely like I never thought for a second that would have John Teasdale in the studio like that was a, quite a big one for me even like our first, we went from JP to Alan Main. Like, <laughs> no offense to JP, but like, that's quite a jump. Um, favorite guest so far, Ryan? Oh, for me? Um, oh, uh, I don't know. It's, a, it's an interesting one, isn't it? Because I'm quite usually just focused on what I'm doing. Like, yeah. people like, well, I tell people that, like, oh, I've got work this weekend, I've got so and so coming in. People are like, oh, wow, that must be, like, amazing to, like, speak to those people or hear those people. And I'm like, to be honest, like, especially now that my, like, producer desk is, like, not aimed towards what people are doing in here Mm -hmm. in terms of, like, a a way. Like, it feels like it helps me kind of just zone in, which I've already, I've done anyway. Like, I'm, I'm not someone that has, I would say, a lot of input into what people do in here. And that's because mainly the... The first episode of the Football Journals wasn't the first episode of the Football Journals because I'm no. pretty sure we recorded the we one did. that we did first before. Yeah, had... if, you, if you look at my notebook, number two is before number one. Right, okay. So um, I found it quite difficult to begin with yeah. not to like be part of the conversation because yeah. I was so used to me and you doing the Northeast Corner stuff. Mm-hmm. Whereas now I kind of feel like, you know, people are paying me to do their own thing in here. And, and don't get me wrong, some people like having me on to begin with and like mm-hmm. have input just so it's a an extra voice to bounce off of an extra body to bounce off of yeah but i feel like once that's kind of out the way it's better just to let people do their own thing mm-hmm. um so well, to get back to your actual question instead of going off on a totally unrelated tangent um uh craig christie was quite a good one yeah, yeah craig, craig was very interesting he's very interesting Gave us a good insight. Obviously, he's now helping us out with Bishop Mill, which is like massive. That's, that's going to help us out hugely. So I'm just going to adjust my position. Um, yeah, Craig Christie was a good one. I quite liked meeting some of like the 92, 93 Elgin squad, Russell and Ian and things like that. Um, 
I, th- I, I can't say I've got a favourite guest because it would be unfair to the other ones. Um, obviously, th- I, it's strange, I, I need to start getting back to some of them next year, but like some of the ones with uh, yourself, the ones with Luke, the ones with Belder, ones that are with like my actual mates that I know outside of football and it's not just through football and that, I quite enjoy them because it's not that we get the same stories from footballers, we get different stories from footballers but like they've all had a bit of talent when we were younger whereas I like to find out how crap a football player some people were you know it's it's better to go that way sometimes rather than everyone everyone's talented at football um <clears throat> the numbers so this is this is actually me looking for a little bit of a sponsorship shout out if if anyone does want to get in touch please give me a shout I'm not that expensive to sponsor um we're not talking hundreds of pounds an episode it's nowhere near that um it's it's really cheap um we can get your business shouted out on here the kind of people we're going out to so i'll go through them individually and then I'll, i can kind of i've added them up together so so through spotify we're actually at 150 followers it was confirmed this morning or last time i looked uh, in the last year we've had 6,812 plays on Spotify and played in 31 different countries YouTube we are 101 followers 10,500 plays Apple 44 followers but got 157 listeners on Apple so like n- not even a third of the people that are listening to me are following me so just, just follow me because it, it does make a difference um, 3,000 plays on Apple TikTok, I know we really can't take much from TikTok, it's only clips, but it's still people watching your videos and that, so, like, 1,730 followers, 330,264 views, and then on Facebook, we're just shy of 750 followers, so altogether, 2,800 followers on the podcast through all the social media platforms, and then 350,000 views over all the videos. So that's it's pretty yeah, huge. Yeah, pretty momentous, isn't it? For a year, like, yeah, I, I'm quite chuffed about that, you know. Um, some of the people we're getting on, obviously, you've heard Pelly's coming on. His episodes will be after this one. Uh, Barry Wilson, ex uh manager, actually played under Pelly when Inverness beat Celtic in the Scottish Cup and things. Richard Hastings, another one from that squad. Uh, Paul Lawson, Banks of D manager, he's coming on. Um, and he will be coming on to speak about his time when he played for Celtic and things like that. So, you know, I am conti- continuing the Highland League theme. Um, guys that have played at a wee bit of a higher level as well. Um, I am also looking for guest ideas. If, if people want to see people on, they need to just get kind of get in touch with me. But that'll that'll lead me on to a bit earlier. I'll we'll speak about that in a little bit. Um, so yeah, that's how it's been from my seat. How's it been from your seat for the last year? Um, I mean, it's pretty cool to be fair. Like, I I kind of like to begin with. It was just you and your mates basically, but that's how everyone starts. Do you know what I mean? Yep. Um, so it's been pretty cool to kind of see, I guess, the transition, mm-hmm. if you will. Like, um, not like how do I not like trying to be like an elitist or anything like that not trying to sound like that but like when like the first like big name i don't want to like make it sound like that but like for lack of a better term was probably alan main right mm-hmm. and uh probably last november or something like that yeah that, that he came in so i just remember that you were very nervous going into that and then kind of getting through it and then seeing not getting through it because getting through it sounds like it was something you didn't enjoy but you know what i mean getting yep. over that kind of barrier of in, in, getting in your own head about things um seeing you kind of overcome that and then you know getting the memorabilia and stuff and it's just kind of just went whew, yeah there, really isn't it you know so. it's skyrocketed mate it really has um with obviously the guests to come and things like that this is a bonus episode, so we'll call these little things point fives or whatever episode and a half. Um, we plan to do these every month, one a month. Um, but this is where I think the podcast is going to go for the next year. So 
anyone listening, um, we are going to get involved with a Patreon service. Um, it's going to be five pound a month, and it doesn't mean it's going to be five pound a month to listen to the podcast. It's nothing like that. The podcast will be free for everyone, but there'll be certain perks to your five pound a month. Um, you're going to get your episode a little bit earlier. You're going to get uh, an extra episode a month. So I think the first one we're going to do, I've written, ah, oh, I didn't take the bit of paper with me. I <laughs> written these down on. I was writing these down um, as we were coming at my head over the last couple of weeks. First one we're going to do is we're going to do a little 45 minute episode on Elgin City 92, 93. I'll actually break down the season and look what happened. And I'll get some info from people. I've actually been in touch with a journalist this week who's looking for info for me for I don't know what it's for but it's for something um, he's been in touch with Ian McCarthy he's been in touch with Russell Mackay and he's very interested in the story so be more to come with about that anyway that's me getting sidetracked there'll be little episodes every month people can request if they want us to speak about something um, for your £5 a month you're going to be added to a Facebook group you will be the only people who will get access to who's coming on beforehand um, I won't be telling anyone else I won't be posting it on the page it will only be going into that group um people will also get a little shout out if they want a shout out um i can I can do that we, we won't continue the buy me a coffee thing it will be be different from now on um help me out here ryan there is other things and i've not written them down stupidly fantasy Premier League at some point or, yeah, or well, something along those that's lines. That's right. Yeah, Fantasy Premier League. We'll be setting up a, a league and things like that. We'll do a monthly draw for a cup. Um, a little mug, Football General's mug. We done one last Christmas. Um, we'll start doing one every month. If you're paying as part of the Patreon, I will be releasing full details of this along with the post that this podcast is included with. Um, that'll be... Um, it wouldn't make any sense on when I'm saying when it'll be but um, these will drop once a month I won't say when it'll be during the month it'll just be when me and Ryan have had time to actually get time in the studio and I don't want to do a half ass job of these if you know what I mean Ryan I want to actually if people are paying good money yeah it's only £5 a month it's the price of a coffee Um, well I mean it's what is this is how <clears> people make I don't want to say make money, but like make this kind of thing sustainable. Like, yeah. Um, yeah. I can't see how. I know people have obviously had it for the last year yeah. unrestricted for free. Yeah. Um, so there might be people that like take issue with that, but it's like a lot of work goes into this. Do you know what I mean? Like, well, one of the questions I get asked um, is, oh, why don't you make the podcast a bit longer? And. <laughs> For people that don't realise, for me to do a two-hour podcast, it's we're into triple digits in money. Yes. Um, mm-hmm. So, and that's not just. Let's break it down from two parts. You then have to do more research to fill that time. Yep. You have to guarantee more time out of your life with work, family, training. Um, you've just started up a football club. Yeah. All these types of things, and then from my point of view. I then have to go and spend double the time editing, double the time transferring it to you. All these types of um you know uh factors that go into the production of something like this yeah that that takes a lot of time have a lot of time and you know as cynical as it sounds you get paid for your time in this life because you need money to yeah. survive and pay rent and stuff like that i absolutely love doing this podcast um and i will continue to keep it going as long as possible but if anyone knows me personally i've actually had just a career change in the last a uh, couple of months a much needed career change I'm much happier now and things I'm actually a postie now love my job absolutely love it it's, it's one of the best jobs I've ever had but um, obviously my last job very well paid job but just wasn't a great job so you make sacrifices to make your life a little bit happier so when I started this podcast I was in a much better financial situation than I am now and I'm not saying that the podcast will stop but it's maybe like for us to to get the the information out of people, for me to people have people in here for more than forty five minutes at a time, things like that, then yeah, I need to make this sustainable, as you say. Um, but this is people's chance to do that. Like, yeah, if you get enough people that are willing to support the show, 
then you will be able to do longer I could, you know yeah I mean? do you know what if if, if I had f f a Patreon at five pound a month and I had 50 subscribers a month I could give you an episode a week yeah <laughs> genuinely, not that many people though, right? genuinely like, I could give you an episode a week if it, something like that happened and if it was to go in that trajectory you know I would start putting out more content we've already spoken about we were going to go and do football for the YouTube. We were going to go and go to football games and do vlogs for the day. Mm -hmm. and just going to different games in the Highland League and maybe Elgin City and things like that. I'm still still keen to do that. We could we could do that. Um, but yeah, the full details will be on that Facebook post when we release this podcast when you're hearing it. So have a little read of it. Um, Dominic's try to teach me how to do Instagram and that just now so that will be coming as well because we need to open ourselves up to a bigger audience um but yeah it's going going great the f the following's really good but it could be much better um the ratings could be much better as well but we're we're almost at 40 40 ratings if you include Apple we're almost at 50 ratings so it's good I'm enjoying it the football journals is partnering up with the football hub Sigh over at the Football Hub does great work bringing coaches drills, seminars, thousands of hours worth of coaching resources, knowledge. His TikTok videos are great. You can find Sai and the guys over at the Football Hub at the-football-hub.org. That's the-football-hub.org. Check them over. They're offering a 30-day free trial. Honestly, I've checked them out myself. I've been using a couple of the drills in my own sessions. The guys are unbelievable. Give them a shout. Sai's always on offer as well to offer personal advice, as well as a 30-day free trial. They offer individual packages for clubs, players, coaches, clubs. They'll offer grassroots club plans, pro club plans, a lot. Give them a check out, guys. I've had th I've probably about three people, three, four people, asked me in the last year and they don't ask me oh how's it going with the podcast who are you getting on next first question that uh, comes out of my mouth is oh how much money do you make at that podcast or uh, uh, does it make good money and i'm like no it costs me money to make it like i don't make a penny i lose i lose a minimum of 60 quid every time i make one a very minimum mm. <laughs> you know 70 <laughs> 70 even you <laughs> just know just keeping my prices right there you know like you no know, but say i was only go for 45 minutes or something like that yeah like, yeah of course you yeah. know or say i was to do audio only or something yeah, like yeah. that mm -hmm. you know um but like, most of, up, up until this point most of it's been an hour at the very yeah, least yeah yeah exactly i think our, our uh least the the one that's not the longest what's, what's the word i'm looking at the shortest yeah. <laughs> why did i struggle with that the shortest one i think has been an iron five something like yeah, that yeah something along the lines of that aye um so you know i'd love to but if you guys support me i will produce more content you know i think you could there's enough content for you to be able to sit and listen to episode one of the football journals and 24 hours later you won't be finished the football journals you know there's enough content there but every minute of you listening to that is recording time that I've paid for and recording time that Ryan sat and edited and put work and effort into, you know. So I probably sound like half enough we moan here just now. <laughs> to be fair, I think that we just became the moan <laughs> corner. Let's just also specify there's been a lot of great support as well as 100%. the odd cynical yeah. take. <laughs> yeah, I some of the people that um, I've got somebody at my work and she came up to me a couple of weeks ago and she was like looking at me and she was like you got a podcast shout out Shelly by the way um and I was like yeah I've got a podcast and she was like oh I thought you did I thought you did I've also got to give a shout out to and I want I wanted to give him a shout out in the Pelly Up Patterson episode because I, I probably still will as well um I'll give a shout out to two of them Harry and Rory Watson I know they listen to all the episodes Surprise your mum lets you listen to your, the episodes with my language sometimes, but I do appreciate it. Um, I See, when, like, I hear stuff like that, because yeah. I remember it used to happen all the time with, like, my younger cousin would listen to the Northeast Corner on YouTube, and he's, like, of, um, you know, he was a teenager at the time. Yeah. And I was like, does this, like, explicit content or not made for kids button just not work on the YouTube and Spotify <laughs> thing? I thought that was meant to, like, mitigate yeah. all that. No, it doesn't. It doesn't work. Like, but um, I have to give a shout out to them too. Rory, I um, coach for Elgin. Really good football player. Quiet kid, but just 
nothing nothing phases him brilliant um really coachable enjoyable player to watch and things like that um harry oh god i wish harry was my player i really do because he's just he's a goalkeeper he's a bit out there like all goalkeepers are but every time i see him big smile on his face comes over gives me a handshake um no he listens so shout out harry shout out rory um I was at a game, I can't remember who we were playing, I think it was Forest under 18s we were playing and they were coming over and speak to me about the podcast but I quite like it when people come up and speak to me about the podcast, it's um, yeah, I'm I'm quite an awkward person right, and I've noticed this, I really have noticed this in the last six months or so, I'm, I'm actually an awkward person when it comes to speaking to people, but see if you start, start speaking to me about football, because I know quite a lot about it I just instantly become comfortable with them and it's like it's it's a safety blanket almost so I don't know. I think it's just an observation, right? Like yeah, all football's observation. Just Yeah. But no, I just mean like in general, like well, it's right, like yeah. A, yeah. It takes a level of self-awareness to like because if you think about it in the day and time that we live, I see it all the time where people um are not compensating but are acting like they're comfortable with things when like you know it's it, I suppose it takes a lot of kind of honesty and humility to be like, oh, I'm not strong at speaking about this or I'm not the most comfortable being social or whatever it may be. Yeah. But um, the fact that you're able to recognise that, yeah, I think is quite a healthy thing. I don't think it's a bad thing or a, yeah. a negative point. I didn't, I, I didn't know it before, but I think football's put me a bit more in my own comfort zone and a little bit more myself. And it's not that I'm good at football and it's not that I'm Josie Marino and know everything about football. It's just that it's it's comfortable settings for me and I quite like it. The banter's good and generally surrounding myself with good people when I get involved with football. Nobody's really nasty. If they are, they don't really last too long, if you know what I mean. Yeah, yeah, I found my, 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 my good place and obviously we've got our new project starting over the last three months with the, with the new football club and that and... Yeah, that's just that's just taking on another whole level itself you know I went from two years ago being a coach of an under nines team that only played for three months out of the season to now owning a football club and running a podcast that speaks about football and speaks about are you ready for the questions about the football club how much money are you making out of the football club by the way <laughs> uh, if anyone wants to know I'm about I'm you better not be bringing up I'm about like 300 quid down already so <laughs> you better not be bringing up Patreon at football club I'm already getting five pound a month out of me it's actually written to our club's constitution that it's a non-profit club any any money that's made goes directly back into the club so like me and me and Dominic do not make a penny and it costs us money because if we can't pay for something with the club funds we'll just pay for it with our own money it's, yeah yeah of course <laughs> But like, I suppose like the overall point we're making is we're not you're not wanting sustainability to pay your rent or no. because you do that in other avenues in your life anyway. Yeah. But you really do enjoy doing this in the format that you're doing. Mm -hmm. It would be cool if the, it could become like its own ecosystem where people are enjoying mm -hmm. what they're getting. They're getting extra perks for what they're paying. Yep. And they're also supporting helping make the thing more consistent longer whatever it may be they That's, want it to be they'll get the benefits out of it as well they'll get perks to other people who aren't but that's me also saying like the podcast isn't going away you know but you know we might do things like we if you've if we've got an hour and a half recorded we might only give 45 minutes to the, the non-patreon people you know and your patreon will get your full episode we, there's there's lots of little things i need to I've been trying to look into this to try and make this as fair as possible £5 a month but realistically give me three things that cost £5 Ryan uh, I know I've put you in a spot here I'll help you out is a coffee is yeah of, of course them. yeah like a, a pint <laughs> yeah um, and people are going out sinking 20 of those on a Friday night yeah, sometimes yeah about I mean? 380 to a, a pint mm -hmm. nowadays Um, I don't even know a game on Steam if it's on sale <laughs> 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 sorry um uh, well, two, you pay two double bottle, four liters iron brew yeah you pay double to get into a highland league game there you go 
you know. There you um, go. And I'm giving you the entertainment for more than half of a Highland yeah, League not, game. Yeah, not at a time, a mm. month. Yeah. Well, that's true. I'm actually giving you three, four hours of content a month. Um, and I don't think it's much to ask for. But, you know... And you, we will be bringing more as a result of, yeah, to the people that do... Absolutely. A minimum of one episode a month. You'll get your episodes early. Things like that, mm-hmm. you know. Um, and like you said, we... They can choose what we want. They want us to talk about. Like, I mean, it would yeah, be. I mean, I'm, too. I'm next. very open. Do you not notice this? And of anyone who's really been mentioned, and I can think of three off the top of my head: Frazee Kellis, um, Neil, Neil White. White, and Mo Morrison. Um, people asked for them to come on, mm-hmm. and I went out and got them. Yep. So if you're part of Patreon and you re if, as long as it's realistic, like don't go and ask me. Aye, don't get, go tell us to start mm, speaking about Ukraine foreign policy and all yeah, that type of exactly, stuff. Exactly. You know? Or oh, why don't you go and speak to David Beckham? Because it's not going to happen, man. <laughs> but, um, but no, like it's been really good the last year. I want to keep it going, but I want to keep it going more. Of course, yeah. But I can't. The reality is, I can't afford to. Yeah. <laughs> Like I can afford to keep the podcast going, there's no doubt about that. But you're at a bit of a crossroads in where it's got a bit of momentum, mm-hmm. there's a lot of people that want to see what's coming up, yep. and then what you just mentioned there is the uh, the alternate to that. So yep. again, it is, you. You we are, well you are, but I'm part of it also, so I guess I'll say we, we are like asking for support yep. to be able to keep this going and grow it. Yep, yep. If I can get, like... I think I've done two giveaways of it. Two giveaways? Yeah, the yeah. Alan Main uh, gloves, was it? Alan Main gloves and kind of chocolate and stuff. Um, oh, yeah, the Christmas one, aye. Yep, yeah, um, we've done a book. There's possibly going to be a book coming with the Pelly Patterson episode. Mm-hmm. Um, oh, yeah, Chris, Chris, is, uh, Chris Saunderson's book. Yeah, that was the second one, wasn't it? Yep. Yeah. So, f- like, at the end of the day, folks, this comes out of my pocket. <laughs> you know, and... I th- I think I've been pretty good to be able to give this people uh, a good year of football journals. I think a lot of people have enjoyed it, um, and I would like to keep continue to keep it going. Word on the street is that football journals might be having a football game next year. Um, there's talks about that. More info to come on that, but that'll be another one that, yeah, it probably be private information to to people who were helping us out by supporting the podcast. You're not, as Ryan said, you're not paying my bills. My pills are paid every month, I can guarantee you. Um, you're not you're not even paying for my nights out because I don't drink. <laughs> 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 um, I coach every Sunday, so I don't get the chance to. But um, yeah, you're, you're literally paying for me. Do you know what? Right, let's give an example of what it would pay for, Ryan. So... I'm thinking if somebody wanted me to go through to Aberdeen and speak to some of those Highly five in a row players, for example, because a lot of them are Aberdeen based, um, that'd be absolutely fine. But that's probably about eighty quid in fuel. Mm-hmm. That's probably seventy pound for the hour or whatever for the actual recording, and then, and then the editing and all, obviously editing as well. And then probably a bit more because you're going to be out of the house losing out of studio time for the day. Oh, of course, yeah. Well, I didn't even think about that. <laughs> so you're probably talking like 200 quid to go and get one of them interviews done. In, yeah, in one way or another, yeah. Yeah, so I, I don't think £5 a month. For me to get that back, I'd have to have a lot of Patreons, yeah. <laughs> you know, and that's just one episode and you guys are getting them every fortnight and if you're subscribed to Patreon, you're getting them more than every fortnight. So... I don't think it's a lot to ask. If you want to support us, great. Well, there'll be details in that post. Um, You can also, through Patreon, sign up. Let me know your name. Give me a a shout to let you know signed up. I'll give you a wee shout out. I'll let people know. If if that's not your thing, you want to remain anonymous, absolutely fine as well. Also, I just remembered another one of the perks that we came up with. If you want to ask a question on said podcast, yes. you can send in a voice submission and we will play your question um, on the roadcaster to the guest, whoever it may be. Obviously, you'll have to be part of Patreon to know who that is and it will be a Patreon exclusive mm-hmm. um, 
perk once again, but if you want to submit a question, send us a voice submission, I will get it up on the roadcaster and the guest will be able to hear the question directly from yourself. So yeah, another yeah. perk there for people that are looking for extra kind of ways that they can get involved. And, and to be honest, aside from like obviously the, uh, you know, um, the sustainability of this, like we've been kind of thinking of ways of how we can interact more with the viewership. Yep. So. Yep. Well, my, my thinking is things like if we had Patreon before the Pelly Patterson episode, if we had any Man United fans in, it's like, well, if you're a Patreon, you get a Man United fan. And do you want a Man United talk, signed by Pelly? You know, he's a guy who's played for Man United. I can, we could possibly do that for you, you know. Um, there's little things that we can we can help out people with. Um, I do like the idea of a giveaway every month. Um, it's not going to cost me much money. The, the mug we got um, done wasn't overly expensive or that. Um, we can certainly make more of them. Th there was word of me getting a football journal's top football top made, and I still quite like that idea. Maybe we could do a, a Patreon once a year, a big draw for for a football top that's got like the logos or signed by guests, things like that. You know, I mean, like for me, and this is just from like a technical perspective, and we have spoke about it a few times. The one thing that I would love to do with this, and I'm I'm not someone that really has much input. But like, for, I would love to do like a live version of this. I like, like you know, when I say a live version, not net, I, I don't have the internet connection to stream it. Um, you can Town thank hall. you can thank Open Reach for that. <laughs> Consider they're not um doing my area until twenty twenty six. Thank you very much. Even though the other side of Lossy already has it. But aside from that, alas, I digress. Um, yeah, the town hall, like an actual people mm -hmm. are in the audience because we can do that. Yeah, we can. We'll get two wireless road interviewer microphones connect them up to the roadcaster and then there's the two mics for yep. you and um or we'll get one mic going around i think we just get yeah one mic we've got a couple of guests on who've maybe been on before or new ones i've done something similar to elgin city i was absolutely petrified but after 10 minutes i kind of chilled out i had to hold the microphone next to my side because my hand is shaking that much but luckily you won't have to do that because these no. will be coming with us exactly yeah there <laughs> and we i can get maybe like a few <laughs> filmmaking buddies of mine because that will literally have to be and that will literally have to be a film crew. Mm. That won't just be, you know, yeah. uh, how it is here. Where like, it won't just be one. Yeah, yeah. it would be impossible. Because um, <laughs> we're even going to need just someone with the road interviewer mic to actually go into the audience as I'm working the kind of Optimus Prime of Ultimate setups. <laughs> and yeah. it would be recorded for Patreon as well. So you would get exclusive. Exactly. Couldn't, if you couldn't make the live event... You'd be able to watch the full thing yep. on Patreon. Yep. By get. the way, Steve Porter, if you're listening to this, because I know you are, four more games and you're in the studio, mate. Four more lossy wins and you're in the studio. Uh, well, <laughs> I know this is kind of like previewing what we've got upcoming and um, a call to arms for the following, if we will. But uh, how good would that result for the lossy teams of the weekend, yeah. though? Uh? Yeah, let's have a wee side track on that. Congratulations, Frazy Kellis, Lossy United. Biggest upset in junior Scottish Junior Cup history. I just watched the highlights. Did you see the equalising goal for Lost United? Yep. Oof. It was yep. a, looked like a great game as well. Eh? I Absolutely. know it like highlights can you see the make crowd it. and things. Yeah, yeah. Because mm -hmm. uh, that team was based in Ayrshire, I believe. I went and looked that up. Um, but yeah, the I think the most impressive thing about that is that club was only restarted about two and a half years ago. Yeah, it was like because I remember uh, Lugs asked me if I could do like a. Uh, no sorry he got me to get in touch with Sean who's a filmmaking buddy of mine to like make this kind of um, it never ended up happening in the end by the way so like that's what that's why you won't remember when I'm about to say this but they were going to make like a an announcement video you know like on Sky News uh, Sky Sports News sorry when they have like the yellow bars and yeah um, so there were, yeah that's when I remember it and that was around spring 2022 because we were just kind of starting to make the documentary so the fact that obviously it had a a it had a past in the sense of it was in the junior ranks and all that kind of mm. stuff. And then it got, you know, it wasn't about. And then when they started um, up again two years from there to now having their biggest result in their history, it's pretty yeah. impressive, right, from everyone that's, that's involved. Absolutely crazy. Yeah, and then you've got Lossy doing the business as well. With, um, it turns out we're better without a permanent manager. <laughs> well, Steve, Steve Porter and Stevie Dunn have, have got the job and Ian Campbell. 
Um, Aye, ah, yeah, on an interim basis though, isn't it? Interim basis. But, but if they keep doing what they're doing. Absolutely. I was, I was speaking to Steve Porter at the high school, Elgin training a couple of weeks ago. And I says, because I'd, I'd given him my vote of confidence on Facebook. I'd oh, I'd seen. <laughs> I said, Steve Porter for the job, because I've watched Steve coach and I just think he's fantastic. Like, I think I really just rate him so highly. Well, look at the two yeah, games um, since. Forrest away, and I know it was on penalties, but still got yeah. through the cup. And Keith. 4 0. 4 0, yeah. which is a drumming. Yeah. yeah. And like, these are teams, I know Lossy. Loss Loss is a, a difficult job for anyone because it had such a golden age in the 90s under Frazee and Graham Tatters and that. Mm -hmm. And it was overachieving, right? Like, Loss is one of the smallest towns in Murray. Yeah. It shouldn't probably be competing with Bucky Thistle and that. But people expect that because that's what they remember from, the, you know, the, the, the good old days. Yeah. Um, I'm just thinking of that Frankie Boyle bit, you know, he's like, you remember to get out, guys? <laughs> um, he's, um, no, he's, he's unbelievable. So he says, uh, he says to me, oh, Cheers for your vote of confidence. Like I says, he says I'm still not coming on your podcast. So he says, wait till we'll speak once I've won six on the bounce. So I've only got four games to go. Steve, <laughs> right, so. right. Counting the cup <laughs> game. Well. I genuinely am. Do you know? You know who would? I, I speaking of Los United, I believe Scott Campbell, who I've I kind of remember from school. I remember like he was really good friends with someone I was friends with when I was younger. Yeah, I believe he's one of the youngest managers. In the entirety of Scottish football, mm -hmm. that might be worth. I know I, I'm not trying to like. I, you know. I can. Um, I I think he's he's good. I think he's. Um, I've seen him coach. I've watched a few other games and that, and I think he's great. I could, I could guarantee there'll be a younger one coming up in the next two or three seasons. No, no, for sure. I'm just saying, it's like we a know who it is though. <laughs> oh yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, I reckon Dominic will be. Managing teams by the age of twenty one, I think, and I just reckon that'll be him. He's he's already manager of my Bishop Mill team, and the guys all listen to him. And he's only seventeen; he turns eighteen in like two weeks' time. So podcast just came back today as well. Podcast just made a comeback. I've not had a listen to it yet, but I'm going to have to have a listen. Um, yeah, it's he's. I've got to come on his podcast as the chairman of Bishop Mill. In the next two weeks. Oh, yeah. All right. So, oh well, good. To, uh, I better. It sounds like I'm role playing it, but I'm not. <laughs> I've, I've, I've not been told. You better not be, there better not be any other podcast studio starting up. I've produced those first four episodes. <laughs> Dom. Genuinely, not meaning offence to anyone that's been on my podcast, but Pelly is my biggest guest so far. Of course, um, he is the only person from this area that will ever play for Manchester United. I'm yeah. sorry, but like, yeah, and like. His eleven. We've had a look at his eleven. It's it's a who's who of football. But just think about it, right? Um, You've got player from Manchester United. Um, I would love to. I did a throw a question in the comments, but I took it out because I want to try and like interject and ask myself. Mm -hmm. I want to ask what Tom or Tommy Doherty f uh, thought about Mustardlock. Um, <laughs> um, but uh, like, played for Manchester United. But then, if you look at his managerial career, obviously legend in the Highland League. That goes without saying. But then, look. Inverness was part of that result against Celtic in the 90s and then was manager of Aberdeen and he's yeah. got a book written about him do you know what I mean so like he's got a book written about him by a famous journalist like yeah. a very famous journalist he was also kind enough to do uh, some help he, for, yeah gave me a big quote on him and things like that so. and we actually could have spoke to that guy for the North East Corner but we because we're we're such alphas we were like Ugh. <laughs> I'm yeah. joking no we were we were just really busy at the time he would have been a big episode he would have been a colossal episode yeah. but that was the thing. See with the northeast corner, but it definitely would have been the northeast boxing corner after yeah, that. Yeah, I, I know, I know. <laughs> it really would open it. But like, I actually kind of addressed this in that uh, podcast recording I did as well. We'll end. We'll end off on this because obviously, this yeah. Is, just, this is, just let me just interject before you end off. These extra episodes won't be as rambling for an hour. <laughs> no, no, no. We will have purpose. This is just yeah. like the the pilot, if you will. What I'll do for the next one. It'll be up in about a month's time once we get... I ain't doing this until I've got a couple of Patreons. It's simple yeah, of course, that. yeah. <laughs> or it's pointless. Um, is I will put up a poll of four options on what people want the next Patreon episode on. Be it Algin 92, 93, it can be something we've covered in the podcast previously or people can suggest it themselves. But I will get that group started up 
for the Patreons and yeah, we will go from there. Full info in the post that this Facebook this podcast is on on Facebook. Yes. But um we'll wrap up on this because this is the not the first podcast that we've done. Obviously it's a different dynamic. It was we were very much both involved in the Northeast Corner, whereas yeah. this is you are speaking who you're uh, choosing who you're speaking to, paying me, and I'm doing all the tech side, right? Which yeah. it kind of worked out the same on the Northeast Corner, minus the the payment element. Mm-hmm. Um, but it got to a point where we were doing two of these, and then we were doing a Northeast Corner through the week on top of all the other things we were doing, other bookings I had and work and stuff like that for you. Mm-hmm. It was literally relentless of doing that. And it was getting to a point of where, for me at least, I don't know how it would feel for you, that the northeast corner definitely started feeling like it became a chore. Um, um, yeah. There was, do you know what? I just, sometimes there was like ones that I was up for and then there was ones I was up for when I booked it and then by the time it got round to it, I'm like, oh, yeah. I'm arsed. But now, because my focus is football just now and it has been for the last couple of years, I, I'll never get tired about speaking about it. It's weird. Just don't get tired about and it. I don't get tired of doing the, the technical side. And I, when I, you know, the reason that I've started my own kind of project, which is not for any kind of, there's no video to it or anything. I'm not taking it too far. Like the Northeast Corner, I went full yeah. deep end of the, the pool. And that's good because it's allowed me to then make a business and get gain skills out of it, I suppose. Mm-hmm. But I'm not like looking to get to having it sustainable or that. I just enjoy the process of doing it. I've always, I have always enjoyed the process of doing it. But, um, you know, the, the difficulty of the Northeast Corner is like, because so many people ended up getting involved with it. And I say like, that's not people were inviting themselves in and taking over. It was people I was welcoming, welcoming in. Mm -hmm. It was very hard. Like that episode 100 is the only one where all four of us have been on it. And that's because no one can, yeah, meet at the same time. It's, it's impossible. Impo- and the more people that are in that, the difficult, more difficult that becomes. It is. Um, so that was kind of my. There was a point in time where I was doing it too consistently because I just felt like I needed to get one out that week. And yeah. there was a point of where there would be like month gaps, and I was just like, I just want to start afresh. Yeah. And um, that's what I'm doing. But anyway, I'll. I'll. We've just hit about fifty-five minutes, so. I've, uh, um, don't worry no we agreed to 45 so i'll snip it up into something <laughs> that so just leave you on this note we're going out over we're going out, out to over thirty-five thousand people a month by my calculations so we better see you all on patreon <laughs> that's a lot of eyes and through that on top of patreon i would like a sponsor this year um we're actually we're getting close we've got that much eyes on us ryan you can confirm this that we're getting close to actually getting offered adverts through Spotify themselves. Yes. Mm-hmm. We we meet the number to qualify for it, but because Spotify's adverts are a invite only program, we have yet to be contacted. So Daniel Elk, if you happen to listen to this, the owner of Spotify, yeah. get in touch because we are eligible. We are hitting that threshold that you require. Yep. Mm-hmm. Um, and this is like this is the reason that the Patreon's starting because. We're meeting the numbers to actually link that to the Spotify and, and all the jazz that goes into that. Yeah. So we we're just we know that this has value. Yeah. And we would like to keep it going and do it more often. Yeah. And longer and whatever anyone else wants, but that is going to require help and support. Yes. So help and support. And in please, the, please uh, help us out. Um, in the immortal words of Bernie Sanders, I'm once again asking for your financial support. Yep. And. Uh, yeah, but like at the same time, obviously there's still going to be a free option. You don't have to pay, but it would be really sound of you if you could help, and we'll bring the biggest and best episodes of this yet. Yep, and uh, have fun doing it because that's the main thing that we enjoy doing it. Yep, we might start to see the football journals logos elsewhere as well. I think we're possibly going to sponsor our football team just shortly. So get it in the cinema because I remember they offered me a. Um, that's right yeah you yeah <laughs> i thought it was like a, a prank or something but the cinema said it was legit but it was way too much money for just what well, I'd, I'd already plunged too much money in to start up with so it was like so every cool. monday you're going to have if you go to murray playhouse <laughs> no i'm <only> joking <laughs> right um enjoy your pele parts episode we'll see you in a month for this additional this will be going out to everyone but in a month's time this episode will be going out to patreon only 
um, this extra episode. So this is 25 and a half. I think it'll be about either 27 and a half or 28 and a half by that point. Um, we'll see you then. <laughs>